Hi there, this is the first video to demonstrate the bad air synth, the bass for short. And as you can see, I've built it in a first aid kit, so you can easily transport it. <laughs> and um, now I'm gonna show you what's inside. So, first plug in the audio cable and the USB cable to have some power. And there you go. It's booting up and there it is. So what you can see is we have an info display up here, the pattern display which uh, shows either the notes when the sequencer is running or when your programming steps it shows you uh, some information and here the buttons are lit so this is uh, where the current step uh, is and you see this flashing LED here which shows the currently selected pattern and the flashing LED up here shows the sync in from the Volca sample which is going in which I need to um, to give you some some drum uh, some drum sounds um, below the the bass so it's a little more vivid so yeah what got, uh, what have we got here we we can load patterns we can save them, we can um, mute single steps on or off, as you can see, and this is the, the pattern display here. We can set accent on um, certain steps, we can glide to some steps. You can select different sounds from saw, square, sign, noise, I'm going to show you this a little later, and some more special um, sounds like wave shaper or um, some pulse with LSO uh, modulation. Then we've got some effects. You can set an effect on every step if you want, something like compression or arpeggio or uh, overdrive, bit crush, stuff like that. You can start stop the sequencer and we can transpose um, the sequence live. So I'm gonna start it up now with some just some basic demonstration pattern. And as you can hear the accent is quite heavy on this one so I'm gonna take this out. And we can modulate cutoff and resonance here. And this goes to some extreme values, uh, which I did on purpose, so you can create a really dirty sound. So as you can see, the, the filter is not really analog, but it's more like a digital feel to it and a really um, strong <laughs> sound can be created. So I'm going to start up the Walker sample to have some some drums as well and then we play a little with the knobs. <laughs> So I'm going to select another sound to show you the different sounds. And as you can see and hear, there's a square wave going through the same filter and you always see and hear the, the live waveform played. Switch to sign filtered. And this can be distorted as well. Uh, the last button I haven't said that is the, the length of the notes, so I'm gonna tune it up a little bit and you can adjust the length the notes from rather short to to legato. The 
last one and this one a row is noise so I'm gonna select this this is a predefined noise pattern repeated over like a granular synthesis, uh, synthesis. so you can adjust again the filter here so the second row is the same waveforms again but with a different filter with a more 8-bit like feeling and you can hear it's a really crunchy sound again all the waveforms source where sign and noise are there so let's step to the next row this is LFO modulated pulse width so you can adjust the depth of the LFO as you can see as I increase it the pulse gets more modulated and you can adjust the speed of the LFO next one is a stacked um, a stacked square wave so basically you can layer different square waves on each other and uh, control what, diff uh, what um, frequency difference is between them. So I'm gonna put in the next waveform and if you put them really close together you get this nice phasing effect. You can also do a sub oscillator or put it on top of that. And you can, with this, uh, adjust how many square waves get stacked on each other. So if I increase this, you get a really, really thick sound, but the display gets rather slow. Nevertheless, the Arduino is still able to handle it. And if you increase the frequency of separation between those square waves, you get some nasty chord-like um, effects. Something like that. So the last implemented uh, sound is the wave shaper, and this is a little bit different from the others. So you, the base wa basic waveform is a sine wave, and you can adjust the length of the sine wave getting played. So you can put it really low, and then only a small portion is played, or you can tune it up, and you get separate sine waves and get to the next octave and by adjusting this you can shape it so first you're going to square and then the sine wave gets inverted in so you can see this here and this creates from some really interesting fm like sounds so i'm I'm gonna load up another pattern to show you some effects. So you see there's some arpeggio effects for example. Just, just let me let me select a different pattern. So um, as you have seen we have also a song mode where you can select different patterns playing even after another and you see the length of the song mode here but I'm gonna to switch to just one so I'm gonna show you the transpose so you see by pressing this I can transpo transpose the whole pattern in live and add some arpeggio for example on certain sets put in some compressor for example or some distortions or some bit crash and you see it's um, crashed to two bits to give a very, um, yeah, very 8-bitty sound. 
But the nicest um, effect, I think, especially for the wave shaper, is a sine modulation where the whole um, waveform gets transformed by a sine wave, something like frequency modulation. And of course I'm pressing the wrong button, so it's not working. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what we're gonna have here is, as I said, some, some FM-like modulation. And you hear is, is a very, very, very uh, FM-like sound you can create with that. And a lot of variation you can do with only two knobs. So yeah, that's it, there you have it, the badass bass synth, short bass. Um, originally it was uh, mentioned as a bass synth, but um, you can do a lot of more stuff because you have uh, five octaves you can select, you can, uh, four octaves, sorry. So you can get really high sounds, and which is especially for the arpeggio effects very helpful to create some nice C64 like sounds, kind of like the new uh, pocket operators do. You can also uh, step through the different um, steps of the sequences, so do some step by step editing, stuff like that. But I'm not going to show you all the features, but most of them um, were shown here. So, yeah, feel free to contact me. I'm going to upload the code and the schematics uh, to GitHub so you may be able to recreate this if you want, modify the code and uh, play around with it. Thanks very much.